Yeah, it's been a minute, but I'm back in it. Oh. Y'all ain't dealing with the same ball. No. Got a little trippy than the transition. Hey, what is up, YouTube? Tossic Mitzvitz here. Welcome to the channel. Getting into today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to get the stone hatchet in GTA Online and a sweet 5,000 RP with a quarter of a million dollars. This is very easy to do. The stone hatchet has a secret rampage ability also. This is pretty easy to do. You just need to wait for your Madre Margarita, Madre Butter, whatever her name is, to just send you a thing over here saying uh, this is your next bounty target. I believe you gotta do four to six bounty targets to get it. So basically just open up your email, Voxo right here, and you wanna open and scroll down here, and she gives you a location where the bounty target is at. You can do with some public sessions or in bot only sessions, and you want to make your way over towards the bounty target. Personally, I recommend killing them because if you keep them alive, you're gonna have to take them over there too, and you only get like an extra five thousand dollars. Ain't worth it in my opinion. Okay, after you kill them right here, it's gonna say bounty complete. She'll eventually touch you here. You're gonna touch that pops up saying, "Here's my list or whatever the crap and watch TV." And now it's going to send you the coordinates for a treasure, treasure chest over here. And what you need to do is make your way over towards the treasure chest. And pretty much that's how you begin this glitch. It's going to be different spots around the map. Once the treasure chest pops up, it's just like the revolver, Old Navy revolver. So it's right here. I'm going to make my way over towards it right here, guys. So just bear with me. Okay, I got sidetracked trying to run a meth and weed lab over here that the FBI rated. Then just walk up to the treasure chest and you want to press right D pad. And if your vehicle's blocking it, like me, big oof, you just got to turn around and do it again. I don't know how it's blocking it. But what you get here, guys, is the magical, the invincible stone hatchet that survived the Donald Trump era back when Donald Trump made fire guys that's right dinosaurs invented the wheel and now you have the stone hatchet but there's a secret to this here you need to get 25 kills with it to unlock the other bonuses of it so let me show you how i done that here what i recommend doing up here is making your way to the countryside up here finding a road like up a hill and dragging people out the car yep the bitch fell it's like every screen movie and here's the rampage mode, guys. This is very interesting. Their screen flashes, you do increased damage, and you have damage resistance. And the meter keeps going up every time you kill somebody. This does work on players, too. Their screen looks like you're on adrenaline shot, crack, meth, cocaine, all kinds of stuff. But pretty much here, you can see them just winding up right here. Like people at the coronavirus testing center. Just ready to get their test, and you just keep doing this here. This will work in pedestrians, we players, I recommend pedestrians, it just makes it easier here. And I should mention, it does pop up above the map, how many kills you have. You do not have to do this in one setting, you can do this throughout the game. And this should be my last kill if I'm correct here, so let me drag this uh, person out of here. And let's see if it's my last kill. Yep, the stone hatchet challenge complete, 250k here. And you can also use this in Red Dead Redemption too. So that's pretty useful there. I don't know why you'd want to use this in Red Dead Redemption 2. But maybe I haven't even beat Red Dead Redemption 2. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to notifications on and comment down below about every weapon or many methods you'd like to see me try out. Because there's lots of these in the game hidden. And this is very easy to do. It probably only takes about an hour to set it up. I recommend everybody doing it. But I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Peace out.